something, but there's a man who's very happy. Hand in the air, Johnny Rutherford waving to everyone already. Seems to have taken his driving glove off. And look at this. That is young Tim. Yes, Tim, Tim Richmond has stopped. He's waving. In other words, stopping. Apparently, he can't be stopping from Richmond. He's in fact going to give him a right back. He's waving to him. We're talking about, you know, A.J. Frank was talking about a taxi service. Yeah. There's the most expensive one you could find. It's a yellow cab. Tim Richmond, you know, just has a way of getting him in the spotlight. He may be the oncoming A.J. Foyt in that way. All the month of May, this rookie at age 24 is always in the picture. He had a fine finish here. We would imagine would be the rookie of the year. Well, he's finished ninth, and this might be one way of getting into to victory simple prematurely. <laughs> Rutherford seemed to enjoy it just as much, the two of them shaking hands. And he's, hand, he's lifting the hand of Johnny Rutherford up and pointing number Magnificent racing, no serious injuries, some spectacular sights to see, and a very worthy winner in Johnny Rutherford of Fort Worth, Texas at age 42. Probably one of the more memorable occasions before you came to Winston Cup Racing was in 1980 when you rode to Victory Lane with Johnny Rutherford. Did you think about that when you did it, or was it just a spur of the moment thing? You know, I... It's amazing how many people in that situation of Brother and I going to Victor Lane together, how many people thought that was a planned, you know, premeditated situation there. Uh, and in fact, it wasn't. Uh, you know, I ran out of fuel. Believe me, if I'd, I would have not tried to run out of fuel because uh, I would have finished probably fifth, I guess, instead of ninth. But then I was talking to the crowd, you know, waving and stuff and having a good time. And, and JR drove behind me and I didn't even see him. And I was looking at the crowd and they were going, you know, like they were going look over here and I looked to my left and there was Rutherford and you know he I could just see his hand in there motioning me come on come on and I ran up to the car and you know those things were pretty fragile at the time the side pods and he said I said right here and he said yeah get on so I got on and you know I knew he'd won the thing and he said where'd you finish and I said I don't know uh and I, it was kind of like a joke I said where'd you finish at I said that you did win it didn't you and he said yeah and so then I held his hand up and, uh, you know, I was a little embarrassed of being, of holding the number one sign up because I was doing it for him. So I held the number one up and pointed to his helmet. And, you know, it's not bad to go to Victory Lane uh, either in a car or on a car in Indianapolis. Tim's career began skyrocketing in 1980 when he won Rookie of the Year honors at Indianapolis. That's the year he hitched a ride back to the pits with winner Johnny Rutherford. Well, he came running over and he, you know, he's patted me on the shoulder and says, nice job. And I said, thank you. Get on. And he says, what? I said, get on, I'll give you a ride. He said, oh, okay. So he sat down on the on the side pod and hung on the roll bar, and I took him to Victory Lane, and I had always hoped that uh, that he would stick with IndyCar racing and maybe win Indianapolis, so I could always tell people that I gave him his first ride to Victory Lane. Tim Richmond, who yeah. started in Indy cars and finished up at stock he cars. He did. He had great success in NASCAR. So I'll, I'll just do the, the, the image that... Uh, uh, that he was after, which was uh, 1980, so I'll, I'll just do that one, and not, not to uh, short sheet Tim Richmond, but we're going to try to get another call in. Uh, Richmond was the rookie of the year in 1980, and he actually had the fastest practice lap of uh, with John Barnes, his mechanic. Oh, wow. And uh, f- fastest during practice, and then he had a, 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 like a, a, a minor accident on the first qualifying day in the hot lap session, and so all the, uh, the possibility of having a rookie on the pole, that went out the window. They got a backup car, and then he qualified back in the field. But anyway, he ran very well in the race, uh, did lead a lap during pit stop shuffles, and then right at the very end of the race, he ran out of fuel. And he came to a halt uh, up in the fourth turn, uh, just right at the entrance to the pits. And Johnny Rutherford won the race, and when Rutherford uh, t- took the cool-off lap and was coming around on his way down towards victory lane, Richmond had got out of the car, and it was kind of, uh, it, it wasn't down near the wall. I mean, it was sort of like out in the middle of the track, uh, but you, but easy, plenty of room to go on both sides, and he was still kind of standing there, and so uh, Rutherford pulled up and uh, motioned to him to climb on the side pod, and Richmond got on the side pod, and then 
uh, John came down the the pit lane with uh, with Richmond on the side pod waving, and the, it was a great moment, crowd cheering and everything like that. And then when they got to the uh, where you turn in to go to the victory lane, then uh, Richmond got off. Well, um, the, the uh, I asked Johnny about that later, and he said, well, he said they were they were in the garage next to us, and he said we just kind of hit it off during the month, and and so when I saw him there, I thought, hey, hop on, I'll take you back. But it was a great moment, and uh, it, it, the realization just really hit me. When I actually recorded a piece about this just, what, about three weeks ago, um, and uh, the realization that that was 30 years ago, <laughs> I can't believe that. But A question from Brent in Nashville, Tennessee. Were Tim Richmond and Johnny Rutherford good friends? I've seen that famous clip of Richmond getting a ride from JR after after the race. Was that the start of a friendship or just circumstance? I've got an answer to that one. Okay. Uh, they became friends during the month of May because the, the garages were next to each other. And they really hit it off. And, of course, Tim Richmond was was hugely charismatic, one of the most charismatic people you could ever meet. And uh, so, and then Rutherford is so outgoing, and the two of them just really hit it off and had a lot of fun together. And then, uh, so uh, Tim ran out of fuel, I think. I don't think it was a mechanical, but uh, for whatever reason, he coasts to a halt about the time that Rutherford is winning, and he get and and so he couldn't make it back to the pits. And he was up at the north end, right at the, uh, you know, the mouth to the pits as it was then. And when Johnny came around on the the cool off lap um, on his way to victory lane and he saw him there um the the cars now i apparently could uh, take off from a standing start because the offies couldn't <laughs> this of course was a would have been a carsworth and he just sort of stopped and let tim get on the side and i and then brought him back it was a great moment with richmond uh, on mm-hmm. the side part and then they stopped at the right where you'd make the hard left-hand turn to go into the victory circle. And at that point, then uh, Tim jumped off and then disappeared into the crowd. But that used to be, I don't know that that's been done for many, many years, but it used to be not that uncommon in Formula One, uh, where you're, you, you know, your road course is eight miles or 12 miles or something. And somebody would would be stranded out on the course, and and a friend of their a teammate, but not necessarily, would stop and pick them up uh, after the race was over, and uh, mm-hmm. bring them back, you know, riding jockey style on the engine cover. The 1980. Has anyone yes. else that didn't win the race? come that close to riding a car into victory lane <laughs> well <laughs> at the speedway that's the only time i remember that happening in that fashion where a driver picked up another one at the speedway yeah. 